Hi guys and welcome back to my channel at home with Shell. So I thought I would vlog a day in the life video today. So it's Sunday today and I thought I would just show you what we get up to on a typical Sunday. So it will include a little bit of cleaning, a special breakfast, hopefully a trip to the park, dependent on the weather, which is just horrendous at the moment, isn't it? And then later on this evening, we're going to make homemade pizzas. I really hope that you enjoy this video. If you do, then please give it a thumbs up. If you are new to my channel, then hi, my name's Michelle and I upload videos every single week. I'm mum to two girls and I upload a lot of cooking, cleaning, day in the life, hauls, a little bit of everything really. So if you do like this kind of content and you are new, then I would love for you to subscribe too. Sunday morning start by getting the bed stripped and washing the bed in. Um, when I'm doing this I always button the cover back up as it stops getting it all wrapped up in the machine and I find this so frustrating. And then after breakfast I'll give the room its weekly clean. Every Sunday we always have a special breakfast as a little weekend treat. So today Nick has been out this morning to pick up some bits for breakfast and we're having sourdough topped with avocado, scrambled eggs, smoked salmon and grilled tomatoes. Just say the word what have you got? Eggs and bread and salmon. So we've had breakfast, Nick is downstairs with Arabella so I've just came upstairs to give the bedroom a quick clean. I always do this every Sunday when I'm washing the bed covers just to make sure it's all nice and clean. So I always start off by dusting everywhere first and then I will vacuum. Now I'm moving closer to you and it's getting dark in this room. Tell me what you want to do. Baby, let me love you. I'm going to give the windows a quick clean too, although I'm really annoyed as a bird has pooped on the windows, um, but luckily the window cleaner comes next week. Whenever I'm cleaning the bedroom, I always vacuum the headboard as it can get so dusty. I don't know how, but it feels like I'm drunk on you. It's almost like you make me fly. And when I look at you smile, I don't know how, but it Are feels you blowing like up I'm your new bed? You. We've ordered Arabella a ready bed. For just for when we go out places. And we go centre parks in um next month, so hopefully we'll take this with us. Are you pumping it up? Is it doing it? Arabella's just gone to bed. Um, she still has a nap in the day. She normally sleeps for around an hour, an hour and a half. Um, I'm not really sure when they drop their naps. I can't remember, <laughs> to be honest. Um, but she still really needs it at the moment. And it's quite handy because it gives me a little bit of time to catch up on things. So while she's gone for a nap, I've decided that I'm going to film my H&M haul. Um, I ordered, I recently ordered quite a few bits from H&M. Um, my eldest is a student and had 20% off. Um, so I just couldn't help myself and honestly it's probably the biggest order that I've ever done um, So I'm going to film that now. I've got so many lovely bits in here I feel now it's kind of spring summer. It makes me want to get loads of new things um, Although I don't mean to keep going on about the weather, but honestly how horrendous is it at the minute? 
it's just so annoying. You wouldn't even think it's May. I just, compared to last year, the weather last year was just amazing. And yeah, anyway, I won't keep moaning on about the weather. So I'm going to film this now. Um, if you do want to see what I've got, then I will upload the video next week. So if, make sure you subscribe and hit notifications. Um, if you hit the bell notification button, then you'll be notified when I next upload a video. So it seems to have stopped raining now and the weather actually seems okay, um, but it's actually quite cold, it's deceiving. Um, so we've all just had to get changed. I can't believe it's May and we're, yeah, like back in our jumpers again. Um, so we're just going to go for a walk, just around the local area, go to the park. Arabella's got her scooter, so she's actually getting really good in it now. So we're going to take her out on her scooter um, and hopefully, fingers crossed, that it doesn't rain. What an absolute, what a nightmare. It just started raining when we were out. So we just ran back down to get home. So we're nearly home now, but oh my God, it's literally started throwing it down. So while Nick is watching football, um, Liverpool are playing, me and Arabella are going to make homemade pizzas, aren't we? Yeah, should we make pizzas? Yay! I'm so excited. You're so excited. Can we to eat? You can't wait to eat it. Oh, how exciting. Should we make it now? Yeah? Come on then. We're going to roll it. We're going to roll it, yeah. Mummy? Yeah? We're going to roll footballs. So the first thing you want to do is just preheat your oven. So I've got a fan hub oven and I'm just preheating it to around 200 degrees. Then what do we need? We need a glass bowl. Can you yeah? take it? Yes, yeah, so we'll put the bowl there. Oh, be really careful. Right, so we've got all of our ingredients now. Yep, yeah, and we need to measure our yes, flour in yes, there. Yes. We need that one in a minute. So we need to put our bread flour in there. So we need 300 grams of this. So you need 300 grams of bread flour. That's it, and tip that in there. That's it, you do it until it says 300. This could take a while. <laughs> Then, I'm going to put a sachet of yeast in. So this pizza is super easy to make because you don't need to wait for the dough to rise or anything. It's honestly ready in about 15 minutes. You also want to add in a little bit of salt at this point. Mix all the dry ingredients together. Then you want to try and make a bit of a well in the flour and pour in 200 ml of warm water. But at this point you also want to add in a drizzle of olive oil too and mix that up. That's it, we'll mix it all up. You want to mix it all together until it's nice and doughy. Once the dough is mixed together, then you want to flour a surface and your hands and then give it a good knead for a couple of minutes. So I kneaded it for a good couple of minutes and then I just placed it back into the bowl and then you just want to cover it with a tea towel, put it to one side whilst you get on and make the tomato topping base. Next up you want to make your topping. So just like a simple tomato sauce, which you can use on any pizza. So to make this, you just want some passata. I just use the one in a carton. So you probably need about half a, half a carton. Then you want to add in 
little bit of tomato puree too, probably, I don't know, about a tablespoon or something. Then you want to season with some salt and pepper. This is honestly one of the nicest pizza sauces. So easy to make as well. You can just put it on like toast or pitters or muffins or anything to make like mini pizzas. Then I normally add some garlic powder as well. And then just some simple mixed herbs. Give it a really good mix up and there you have it, a super simple pizza sauce. Now you've got your sauce done, you want to get your um, dough back out again, just put a little bit more flour onto the surface and then at this point I normally put a bit more dough onto the actual rolling pin as well. So you can see here, even in five minutes, it's already risen. So take that out. And this pizza dough here will make easily enough for two large pieces. So I'm just going to cut it in half and then put the other half back in the bowl again covered with a tea towel whilst I get on and do this so because it has been in there I normally just kind of knead it for literally about 30 seconds before I roll it out just to get any of the air out then there we have our dough it's then time to roll it out So once you've rolled it out to the required thickness, so I like mine fairly thin, you then want to add it on to a pizza tray, spread it out on there. Now you've rolled out all the pizza, I'm then just going to put the tomato sauce on, so literally just pour it on and spread it around. So you can put on whatever you want, so I've just got some cheese on the base. I'm just going to scatter over some red onion and some red peppers just before adding a pack of meat which is just basically salami, pepperami and some parma ham. Stop eating all the meat! <laughs> if there's any left and Bella hasn't eaten it all. <laughs> Once the topping is done then you want to bake it in the oven for around 10 minutes at 280 degrees. So I'm just going to roll a little pizza out for Arabella too, so she can put her own toppings on it. Do your cheesy, should we do your cheesy first? She's not meant to eat it all. <laughs> mm. Hang on, look, you've already got two bits on there. Stop eating it all! <laughs> Right, should we put your little pizza in? So the most annoying thing about making pizza is all the mess it creates with the flour that literally goes everywhere. But this handy little dustpan and brush is super easy. I'll link one down below because I always get so many questions about it. But it's just fantastic for literally like sweeping crumbs or like I'm doing here, flour or icing sugar because that gets everywhere too. Just off the sides, it's so handy. Oh, that looks yummy. Pizza is all ready now. So we've made two pizzas and Arabella's got her little one too. Is your pizza yummy? Yeah, yummy, yummy, yummy. Yeah, yummy pizza. And then because it's Sunday, having a little bit of a treat as well. So I'm having a glass of wine Well, me and Nick are going to share a bottle of wine. Um, we always like to have a bit of a treat on a Sunday. I don't really drink any other time, um, but yeah, definitely like to have a little bit of a, a drink on a Sunday. And it's nice just to have some, it's kind of like unhealthy food as well, because if any of you follow me, then you know I eat healthily um, the rest of the week. So I'm so looking forward just to diving into this. Bella, is yours yummy? Show your pizza. Mmm. That's Bella's pizza, look. 
Yeah. Whilst Nick is downstairs cleaning the kitchen, um, so we normally take it in turns, whoever makes the dinner, then the other will clean the kitchen, and then the other will get Arabella ready for bed. So whilst he's doing that, I'm just going to come upstairs and get Arabella ready for bed. So I'm just going to give her a quick bath now. end the vlog here the kitchen is tidy Arabella is in bed um, so we're going to sit here now and do our meal plan for the week so every Sunday night we always do our weekly meal plans and then order our shopping we just do it online because it's just so much easier um, then once we've done that we'll probably watch a bit of TV and go to bed so I really hope that you have enjoyed this video um, probably hasn't been that interesting but it's just a typical day in the life with us on a Sunday. So well thank you for watching anyway and I will see you next time. Bye!